Well, Don, have you ever dreamed of composing music but never had the opportunity or time to take lessons? Well, technology now is transforming right. the way we live our lives and it, making it easy for people who are unable to play conventional musical instruments as well. That's right. It means everyone, and I mean everyone, can strike the right chord. Take a look. This is William. He's been blind for the last 15 years after suffering a hereditary disease that took his sight. William makes a living as a masseur, but he says he wants to do more with his life and he's hoping it will happen through music. Problem is, he has no musical background and he's never played a note until now. To technology, William can not only play the guitar, he can compose his own music. And technology isn't just changing the way music is made. It means you don't need to read music, and you don't need any instruments, just lots of imagination. Sometimes conventional music needs a lot of rigor, and you need like maybe half a year of quite awful music before you get to the beautiful part. And again, if it's success begets success and you get to the music very quickly, very quickly, then confidence builds. And you want to be able to enjoy that music, make that music. That technology includes the Skoog. You just plug it into a computer and this tissue box sized electronic device can turn into a musical ensemble. Okay, wait, wait till that finishes. And try another one. Which you can play by yourself by simply tapping, touching, squeezing, or stroking it. This sound beam can be played as a group. Some of us, it seems, with a little more flair than others. Music movement wires up the brain, but now with this program, anybody can do it. This might look like a toy, but it isn't. It's a sophisticated piece of equipment, like many others, that's changing the way that music is being played. It turns out you don't need to have a musical background, and I certainly don't. And the interest in music technology worldwide is growing, with special needs children learning how to play music despite the odds. Using the sound beam technology, Ari Kanavi, who always wanted to be a composer, can now make his own songs and perform them. It turns the movement of his wheelchair into music. These children include some who are hearing impaired and others who suffer from cerebral palsy. That's not stopping them from getting into the beat of the music, despite never having played before. While the tech continues to strike the right chord, the challenges to change mindsets continues. We have never quite put enough emphasis on the arts. The arts is always for people who have the privilege to learn it, or you're very gifted. For the everyday man on the street, I can't do it. I, I can't compose music. I'm not musical. And even if I cannot move um, anything but my head, or a finger, or a toe, and I can show you my personality through music. That is individual. And while these melodies need no fine-tuning or perfect pitch harmony, they're putting genres like pop, folk, and even classical within reach. And that's music to the ears. Wow, pretty amazing indeed. Joining us in the studio to tell us more is Phil Healy. He trains people to use technology like what we've just seen there. Phil, welcome to the show. Welcome. Let me ask you first, because uh, you've got to give us a demonstration. You've brought in the equipment. Yes. This is the Skoog, is, is that correct? Yes. How does it work? Well, it's uh, got five notes on it, and you simply press any one of these. And you can change the sound. Wow. It's customizable. Mm. Yeah. To play different. Right. She's, I've seen, she's become a bit of an <laughs> old an pro at that, hasn't <laughs> yeah, she? she you has. know? So let me just give it a whirl. So. So oh, and if you hold it down as well. Chinese yeah. instrument. Mm. Loads of different sounds. I see, I see. That is fantastic. It means you can play with any 
uh, piece of music. Yeah. Okay, okay. So how, how have you found this? How has people reacted to being able to play music this way? The reaction has been amazing. When people get their hands on it and actually feel it mm -hmm. and hear the sounds, they think it's magic. They can wave their hands in the air as you've seen and there's nothing to be seen apart from their hands moving. The movement creates sound. They're right. awestruck. Mm -hmm. Phil, we, you know, we saw in the piece uh, just now that special needs children are using it, but it's not just for special needs kids and, and older people. Who no, else can no, no, use not it? At all. Everyone, uh, from children to the elderly, families, companies, team building, everyone can access music through this technology. Do they need to like music at all? <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> we all like music, don't we? We do. We, we do, and we probably just don't know if we don't. The beauty of it is. It can be the music that people like. Mm -hmm. So if it's rock, if it's traditional, it doesn't matter. We can use it, we can put it in, we can play it. Well, well give us an example again. Give us a demonstration of something else, you know. Okay, so here's the, uh, the orbit. So I'm playing a flute there. Right. So the orbit is also customizable. It's sort of totally right. yes. Yeah, can we just see it a little bit? There yeah, we that's go. It. So each one can be programmed to be a program, different, different notes, different right. instrument. As an air hoop, yeah. or some traditional drumming. Okay. Right. So I guess after a while, can, can I can I give that a try? Uh, oh, I promise not to drop it. Let me just give you a, perhaps a different sound. <laughs> okay. And uh, once I kind of get to know, I, I guess what means sounds like what you know. So you've got a choir. There you go. <laughs> so you could have a virtual choir at home I, I know, with a family. That is awesome. Everyone has yes, their own. It's like when I come to you and say, don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I mean, this, uh, this technology looks great and, you know, mm, yeah. everyone can use it. Mm. We're going to ask you about the cost involved. Does this mean if one, people want to have it at home to, you know, be able to experiment with it and use it more? Is it affordable? I think it's affordable. I mean, there's a huge range of prices depending on the sort of equipment. But um, the important thing is, I think that it's accessible. Everyone can use it. We've got lots of bespoke equipment. It means if you've got a special need or a preference, you like this sort of thing, or you just want to move your hands, yes, we can do it. Mm -hmm. Have you had, you know, has there been any resistance at all, Phil? I mean, you know, how does it differ from typical music therapy, for example? Um, not really. I mean, the resistance, as, as soon as people have a go, as soon as people press something, try it out, and then listen to the results, they're completely gobsmacked. They love it. Yeah. They love it sometimes until they hear the price. So I have to ask you for a ballpark <laughs> range, you know what I mean? Ballpark, I think it probably start from $50 to the sky's the limit. Right. Okay. So this would be about fifty dollars, you say? This is a little bit more. This is a little bit more. Yeah, a very specialised piece of equipment, imported okay. from the UK. But again, if you just realise that this could be the difference mm. between someone playing music and not playing it, right. okay. if they have a disability, yeah. this is ideal. I think the Skoog is, you know, it retails for around several hundred pounds or something. Yeah. Several hundred pounds, but it isn't a toy as such, is it? It's not a toy, but mm. it's very, very um, durable. So children can play it and they can bash it, mm -hmm. but uh, no, it's not a toy. It is a musical instrument, and once plugged in, you can play any musical instrument ever invented. Okay, so possible. just again, uh, as a rough idea, for a basic setup with something like that, I mean, we're looking at a few thousand dollars. Oh. Um, I mean, people have got a laptop themselves, yep. so, mm -hmm. you know, Skoog, 1,500. 1,500 for this? Okay. We're just trying to give people a rough idea so if they wanted yeah. to, they yeah. know what they can Explore do with it. Explore the possibilities. Yeah, it? there you go. There you go. Okay. Well, that is uh, Phil Healy there training people in assistive uh, music technology, just giving us a, a bit of a taste of what it's like. Yeah. Oh, nice to, ooh, yeah. Okay, I'll save it for the ending. All right. <laughs> because this is truly yes. an ending. That's right. For me, at least. That's right. We have to end on, uh, us, an, on that note. On that note, That's yes. That's right. On that note. Unfortunately, Steve, I won't be joining you anymore here you on Singapore not, tonight, no. but thanks so much. For your company, it's oh. been great hanging out here five nights <laughs> a week. Any tissues in the school? Uh, no, no, I'll still be around the channel. You know me, can't get too far. So uh, this has been Singapore Tonight. Find us online as well, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Signing off then, Steve. <laughs> Good night, Good night. everyone.